National attention turning to the tri-state as the White House Deputy Chief of Staff tours our local VA hospital. And WLWT News 5's John London is live outside the hospital for us tonight where Rob Neighbors just wrapped up uh, his investigation for us. John? Yeah, uh, he left about an hour ago, Cherie, without indicating whether he liked what he saw or not. Gave us a friendly wave, but would not come over to local media to say anything. The local VA here in Coryville has already had the auditors in. Today's return address from this visit is 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This is the guy, Rob Neighbors, assigned by President Obama to gather facts about the VA operation and report back. He spent this afternoon meeting with local VA leadership and examining the facility which provides care to a small city each year, more than 42,000 veterans, like James Mims. Long line, long wait. But the people that work here, up in that dental, eye clinic, where they draw blood uh, at the desks, they are so considerate. Neighbors will consider all aspects of what he sees here, from patient safety to timely access. He'll find a complex that's growing. There's a new imaging center designed to improve access to care. A community living center for long-term residents will open later this year. What he discovers today goes into his review to President Obama. This is part of what's happening nationally, and we're definitely here to support, and we want to make sure he's aware of the great things we have going on in Cincinnati. Veteran Ed Ritchie wanted to deliver his own awareness, a letter he intended to give to neighbors. They'll say they're going to give you a physician. You may or may not get a physician. You may get a nurse's practitioner as your primary care physician. Some vets also complain about waiting weeks for an appointment only to have it abruptly canceled a couple days beforehand. Second District Congressman Brad Wenstrup says he hopes true reform comes from the White House visit. Quote, we have real structural and cultural problems facing the VA's ability to deliver care, end quote. Speaker Boehner says the overall system's broken. How much fixings required locally is pure guesswork from the outside. A lot of these veterans are coming home from the war. We're not begging. We just want what we can get to help us help our families. And Ohio Senator Rob Portman will join neighbors tomorrow when he takes his fact-finding tour to the Columbus VA hospital. His report to the president is due before the end of the month. Live in Coryville, John London, WLWT News 5. All right, John, thank you. We also talked with our local senator, Sherrod Brown, today about this investigation, and he told us two things would improve health care for tri-state veterans. Let those veterans go to a local hospital, go to a local community-based health center. And second, that we need to, over the next few years, scale up, hire enough doctors, nurses, expand the facilities enough to get, to get veterans into the VA and get the good quality care that the VA provides. Senator Brown is among the group of senators now trying to pass the Claims Processing Improvement Act. It would require VA hospitals to report monthly how they're eliminating this backlog.